All right, hello YouTube. Just figured I'd give a little update as to what we're up to for our friends online that take a good interest in Joe and possibly me a little bit and an old man. Uh, as you all know, Joe don't don't talk too much. Uh, he would be a and is an interviewer's nightmare. Uh, but I just want to let you know how our week has went so far. We're obviously in the middle of the week. It's Wednesday. And uh, it's the 60th anniversary to the day of the Kennedy assassination, which I'll briefly just tell you, uh, I wish America would take that a lot more serious than it does. And I'll leave that at that. Uh, all right, well, we haven't had a good week. As you all know, our favorite fighter had a loss Saturday evening and Joe we've been on a pity party about that um, it's not easy when you're a big fan of a, a sports team or a fighter uh, or another singular athlete to a singular uh, singles athletics. It's worse than your team losing. Uh, we, we went through some devastation over this loss, but we know that this loss for our favorite fighter is uh, going to he's going to capitalize off of this loss uh, no bad other than the feelings for a few days or a week uh, a few bruises a few abrasions uh, for some time the time to heal nothing more than that is going to come from it uh, there's going to be success spawned out of it. And we know that and we're realizing that. And we feel thankful for that. So, uh, had this been anyone else, we would have uh, felt bad about it for the evening or maybe, you know, the next day. Oh man, I wish they wouldn't uh, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, but with our favorite fighter, Danny Christie, we took it really hard. We took this really hard. And we're getting through that. Joe uh, has been suffering from some uh, laryngitis and uh, injured his back. And uh, has been doing a little bit of bag work. And he did spar last night. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, so, but he's going to take a couple of days off. I've instructed him to do it. Two, possibly three days. And I may just sit him out till this coming Monday. We're going to see how he feels and uh, he bounces back quick when he gets sick or has an injury, but he is suffering from some sickness on top of an injury. So that makes it double worse and you got to give your body time to heal and recuperate and uh, come up out of sickness when you get sick. Uh, there are times that you need to work through, uh, but this is not one of them for him. 
Uh, we got a new kid that's come on board. Uh, I'm going to talk about him because uh, he's a tough kid. He's 15 years old himself, the same age as Joe. This kid is six foot one and weighs 180 pounds. So he's, he's a big boy. And he's got a lot to learn. And uh, I got some connection with this kid. Um, I always ask a kid when they come on board, I want to know about the kid. I want to know about mom and dad. I want to know about brother and sisters. Uh, you know, I ask these kids to give me a little of gist on what they do. Uh, and I have reasons behind that. If a kid's acting out or um, having problems, I want to try to deal with the, with the young fella and encourage and help and snatch out, if I need to, uh, the problems. And uh, I, I've went in the streets and hunted down a kid or two. Uh, I they asked me, I'll slap the hell out of a kid to get a kid out of trouble. I don't care who thinks that's whatever anybody wants to think about it. And it's, it works. So, uh, anyway, this kid is in no way a troublemaker. Uh, he lives in the neighborhood. Uh, never see him with the rebel rousers in the neighborhood. And I started asking him about his family, mom and dad. And I've waved to his dad from a distance, but I haven't met his dad yet. Uh, and he informed me that his mother had passed away. And I was like, oh my gosh, this has been, he said, well, it's been a little while. And I was like, how old were you when she passed? And he said, 11. And that was an instant connect for us uh, because I lost my dad, my daddy at 11. And uh, uh, this kid's teachable, he's trainable, he's coachable, uh, he's athletic. Uh, he's got some strength. He just needs to learn and learn. He will. And I hope and pray that this kid sticks around and stays with us. Uh, I'll let Joe, uh, spar with him last night. Uh, I think I took three minutes. We did one minute rounds. They did 12 rounds, I think. I put three of them up online. Um, the others I was just didn't video because I was stopping in the middle of the rounds and going in and uh, showing, hey, do this, don't do this, watch out for this and whatnot. Uh, teaching moments. And... But this kid is, uh, he's come in, he did a, a grueling physical strength and conditioning workout uh, with me and then has came, got through it, came back sore as all get out yesterday and uh, Joe felt well enough he, last night. He said, well, yeah, I'm going to spar with the guy. And we got the videos in reverse. The videos are online. But in the first round, Joe starts spitting that jab out. And I was like, Joe, just go easy, man. You know, kill this kid. Uh, but this kid got, got hit a few good hard times. And uh, he can take it. This is a tough kid. And so we hope and pray he sticks around. Now we got Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow, and I want to tell you guys, we're having rough times, rough times 
it here. Um, we're not the happiest campers in the world. Uh, got a lot of problems right now in every aspect that you can almost think of, we have. Um, but I'm thankful that our family's together. I'm thankful that the Lord is helping us cope and get through uh, all problems that arise and come up. Um, I'm thankful that Joe does as well as he does. I'm thankful that I'm able to afford good uh, homeschooling from the academy that uh, homeschools Joe from in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, I'm thankful for my wife who although drives me crazy 90% of the time and she's it's like living with Edith Bunker. Uh, younger folks won't know, go look up the TV series online, All in the Family, and my wife is half Edith Bunker the, constantly, uh, but I love her and I'm glad because if, if she was any other way, I don't think she'd put up with my mess, uh, so I'm very thankful. Uh, my daughter is... Uh, in the university in Canada and uh, uh, it's very difficult for her right now but I am so thankful that she is fighting through it. She's called and felt like giving up twice and uh, she's like dad I uh, thank you thank you for talking to me because uh, the words I need to hear you always tell me so I'm very thankful that and that's really not me folks that's my king and my king giving me what to say to her so I'm very thankful for that thankful for her uh, she is the strongest out of all of us by leaps and bounds. It would not be me. It would not be my wife. It would not be Joe who could uh, take on the Hulk uh, or Superman, but it would be her. I'm very thankful for her. Um, I'm thankful that uh, for the things that we do have, uh, that where we live right now, there are many people and it'll just break your heart uh, that won't get anything for Christmas. Nothing. Uh, to get some chicken instead of rice and eggs that, that, that they, and beans that, may, that, that they eat every day, to get a decent piece of chicken will be a huge treat to them. So, it's always somebody worse off than we are. And although I'm kind of hurting now because there's some things I'd like to do for the kids and my wife for Christmas that I will not be able to do, uh, we'll get on just fine we will get on just fine. So I'm thankful. And really I'm thankful for the struggles. I'm thankful when we come under attack spiritually or physically uh, because these things are what help us all grow. And uh, I'm thankful for my enemies. Um, I draw back with that statement to our favorite fighter and our favorite fighter, he, he, boy, he's got two ends of the spectrum. There's, there's hardly anybody in the middle that's kind of indifferent to him, this fighter. Uh, he has people that just love him and will blast through concrete for him. 
and he has people that do nothing but build concrete walls to stop him or to hurt him. He's pushed both ends of the spectrum. That's why I love this guy so much. And uh, that's the way to be. Uh, that is a sharp man right there. A sharp man. Uh, when when the when the people around this man are total con contrast to one another. <clears throat> and it goes, the, the haters that he has are actually fueling uh, monetary gain for him and future monetary gain as well. Uh, you... It's just amazing how that work, your haters can build you. The, the, the ones that are attacking uh, are giving you the gasoline for your engine to operate. Uh, and they build you up in so many ways. The attention the haters give you uh, just propels you to the moon. And uh, so we're, we're thankful for those types of people too. Uh, although we don't, we don't have as many of them. I'm not comparing myself to our favorite fighter. Uh, but our favorite fighter, he's something else. And that's why I related that to even uh, being thankful for what few haters that we have. Very thankful. Uh, thankful for it all. Um, someone here, as you know, we live in Colombia, and there's always some type of craziness and nonsense going on uh, with folks here. Uh, this is just a daily or hourly basis even. Uh, but I'm thankful for for them and thankful for the hassles. I'm not thankful probably at the moment that the hassles happen, uh, but they, they, them hassles make us who we are. Them hassles uh, make me stronger and that strength goes on to my children or, or to my wife or to others around, around us who we love. So we're thankful for that. We're thankful for everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And most importantly, we're thankful to our king, our leader, our king who is master of all he surveys, Jesus Christ. So I try to publicly say that to everybody uh, because I love my king and my king is very good to us. And to everyone, I hope that you have a good, uh, peaceful Thanksgiving. Thanksgivings can be very hectic. Families getting together and a lot of families, a lot of our families, uh, mine included in the U.S. Uh, we don't even really get together anymore because we bang heads. And uh, it is what it is. But I hope that you guys... Have a good Thanksgiving. I hope everybody is able to get a good Thanksgiving meal. I hope I hope uh, as many as possible are able to relax and watch the parades we have, if anybody even does that any longer, and uh, watch some football, and I believe uh, some other sports will be on, and different things, and different shows, and I hope you keep your minds occupied and your heart's looking in a good direction, and I hope you have goodness and calmness around you, as well as laughter and glee. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone.